welcome to the latest episode of the Good Ram Show with me, Chris Goodrum. As you can see, um, back in uh, one's tasting room again this evening. Um, so, what have we got this evening? Um, I thought it was about time that we looked at uh, America once again. Uh, we've only done uh, one episode of the show where we looked at uh, a variety of different uh, bourbons. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought it was uh, time to take, uh, take another peek. Um, Tonight we are looking at uh, these. Uh, this is from a distillery uh, based in Utah. Um, and uh, it is like a lot of uh, uh, distilleries that have cropped up in the States over the last few years, just sort of a micro distillery. Um, and the biggest issue that I have with um, a lot of these uh, uh, micro distillery offerings is that they the the spirit that they're putting out is basically a little bit on the young side. I mean, from what I mean, I've not tasted a huge amount, but from what I've tasted, um, the quality certainly seems good. But they've just rushed these bottlings out. They're only sort of you know a few years old, and they've yet to de develop sort of um, you know a real interesting character, um, and. They're quite expensive as well, so you know you want um, for, for 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 sort of you know pure um, interest sake. Yeah, they're interesting to kind of look at, but you know whether you'd want to sort of part with fifty odd quid for sort of like a three year old uh, American whiskey that has very little character, of course, is uh, is another thing. Um, so this is what intrigued me about uh, the High West Distillery. Um, apart from it being um, the first distillery uh, to go into production in Utah since the, uh, the 1870s, they've taken a slightly different approach. Um, it was uh, set up uh, in, um, or should we say, the chap behind it, some, a guy called David Perkins, who was apparently a biochemist uh, uh, that moved to um, Utah, uh, Old Town Park, to be precise, Old Town Park City, in actual fact. Um, he moved there in 2004, and I believe the distillery was founded in, in 2007. Really interesting looking building. Uh, apparently they uh, converted um, some uh, old buildings there, and next to the distillery it has a, what they call a saloon, or what we would know they call a restaurant, I guess. Um, and... Um, Obviously, they've started distilling their, their, their own product. Um, um, but unlike some of the other distilleries that have just rushed out um, a young spirit, they've decided that what they want to do is they want to sort of age the spirit properly. But of course, you need revenue, which is where this comes in. Um, this um, is uh, vodka. Um, now, the interesting thing about this particular vodka is it's called the, the Vodka 7000, which uh, relates to uh, the uh, altitude of the town, which is uh, about uh, 7,000 uh, feet up in the, uh, the, the Rocky Mountains. And um, uh, like a lot of uh, new distilleries, when, uh, when they sort of start production, a lot will make white spirit. It's, you run it off the still, you maybe you cut it with a bit of water, you bottle it, and uh, you know, you've got yourself a, 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 a revenue stream to start off with. Um, the other two bottlings in, in their range, this one is um, called the Rendezvous Rye, and this one is called the Double Rye. Now, obviously I like my rye whiskey, so I was quite intrigued to, uh, to taste them. And the, the interesting thing is that, um, this was their first bottling, the Rendezvous Rye, and it is not their own, their own di distillation. They basically bought in um, spirits to uh, blend um, and create this particular bottling. Um, this particular one, the, um, the Double Rye, um, I believe has some of their own um, spirit in there, although I'm not 100% certain of that one. And obviously, um, I'll explain when uh, when uh, when um, I get to uh, to introduce them. But um, so I think that's probably uh, enough of the, the the waffling for now. And uh, I will um, introduce the, the range then, shall we? Venus is 
Right, like I was saying, this is uh, this is the vodka. Now, um, according to the, the, the blurb on the back and uh, on their website, uh, this is distilled from oats, which um, apparently aren't widely used in uh, distilling because they're um, uh, difficult to, uh, to get going. Um, I assume it's probably like a lot of uh, grains other than barley, um, the, the ratio of sort of starch um, turning into sugar, which eventually turns into alcohol, is pretty low. Uh, and so it probably gives a sort of uh, a fairly sort of low ABV wort to start off with. So, but anyway, um, so th so that's quite interesting, you know. So uh, I mean, I've tasted a number of different vodkas, like from potatoes, from rice, and from wheat, and all sorts, but not a, not an oak vodka. So that that's that's I'm quite looking forward to tasting that. Um, this one, like I said, this is the the, the rendezvous rice. So all small batch stuff, but um, like I said, this is. Um, Quite interesting because um, it's a blend of uh, of rye whiskies. It's uh, a blend of um, six year old uh, rye whiskey, which has a high rye content, as in uh, ninety five percent rye, five percent bourbon. So you know you're expecting a lot of a lot of spiciness from uh, from that. Um, blended with uh, a 16 year old rye whiskey, which, uh, in my notes, is apparently distilled from 53% uh, rye and 37% corn. So, yeah, you're going to get some of the sort of fatness of, of the corn coming through on that. So, that should be interesting. Um, and this one um, is the, the double rye. Uh, why, why they call it double rye because it's pretty much the same concept as the rendezvous, I'll never know, but you know, uh, we'll uh, forget that. Um, same kind of, uh, of, of thing with regards to that in that um, the base of it is a 16, is the 16 year old rye with, uh, made from 53% rye, um, but they use uh, a two year old uh, rye whiskey um, instead of uh, a six year old, which is has the same uh, same mash bill of uh, uh, ninety five percent rye and uh, five percent bourbon uh, bourbon barley, uh, which I'm I'm guessing is probably their their own spirit possibly uh, that I couldn't find out uh, whether that was uh, true or not. But um, uh, I think sort of uh, all told, this is uh, going to be quite uh, quite an interesting uh, tasting. So um, let's make a start then. Right. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, this is the vodka, um, and um, we'll see what uh, what uh, making from oats uh, does to uh, the nose, then, shall we? Yeah, that's a really interesting nose. It's it's more whiskey like actually than than um, than vodka like. Um, it's got a quite a robust sort of creamy character. Um, it sort of reminds me a little bit of um, uh, the Chase Potato Vodka in that it's not quite starchy obviously because not being made from potatoes but it has a, a lovely roundness with some really pleasant vanilla notes and like I said the, the, it smells like a, a sort of a very young whiskey rather than a sort of um, uh, you know a crisp vodka but there's some lovely sweetness there. It's, it shows that the the spirit itself is uh, is good. So a little bit of a little perfume note, guess I guess now coming out. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's a really really nice nose actually. Um, quite harmonious. A bit of alcohol. Um, um, incidentally, I think these were bottled at. Uh, 40, I oh know this is bottled at uh, 40%. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I don't know, quite so nice. Try the power. Mm. Really smooth. Very creamy, like uh, the nose suggested. Very full, slight vanilla note. Very soft. 
a um, little bit of spice at the end. Um, but I think all told, yeah, that's, that's, that's quite a pleasant vodka, you know. But sweetness, um, no, no bitterness, no sort of spirity nastiness, you know, it's, uh, hmm, that, is, that is really quite pleasant. Um, I imagine that that would make a, um, uh, a good cocktail base, but then, uh, you know, what the world's greatest cocktail uh, cow person, um, as you know, I prefer my, uh, my spirits neat. And um, yeah, I like that. I think that's, uh, that's really quite pleasant. So flexible, but she's always right. Right, okay, uh, on to the rendezvous then. Um, I was saying this is a, a vatting of uh, 16 year old and 6 year old rye. Um, apparently, uh, the name rendezvous comes from um, a term used by uh, um, hunters and gatherers and what have you back in Utah. In, the 1800s, uh, where they all got together annually to sort of, you know, um, barter and swap uh, pelts and uh, um, silver and stuff like that, because allegedly um, the uh, um, town of uh, Park City was um, uh, a very wealthy silver mining um, uh, town in the uh, the late 1860s. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Well, we're here to uh, uh, taste the uh, the whiskey. So, right, let's see what the nose gives us, then, shall we? Right, it's it's quite full. Um, it actually smells like there's quite a lot of corn. It's very full, very very bourbon-like, I guess. Um, there's a there's a little bit of a violety note, a little bit of spice. Yeah, it's uh, it's got an edge to it. Um, touch of burnt caramel. Yeah, it's a pleasant bang. It's got some fruit, a little bit of an orangey note. Um, but uh, it's certainly for all the uh, for all the rye in it, the corn seems to be the, the actual fact the most uh, dominant part of it yet. Uh, which is uh, surprising, but you know, it's not bad. Okay, uh, let's try the pepper then, shall we? Yeah, that's like the nose. A lot of fat, sweet corn, a bit of burnt caramel. It's it's very heavy on. I mean, the corn is 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 really full on and up there, which again is quite surprising. The rye is a little sort of trying to get in there. It's it's comes through on the finish with a little bit of a a spicy bite, but for for something that's uh, supposedly um, pretty much uh, all rye, it, it just lacks that sort of like, mm, that bite, you know, the real spicy intensity. I mean, in saying that, it's, it's not a bad, um, it's not a bad whiskey. Um, it's certainly uh, better than a number of uh, bourbons I've tasted. Um, incidentally, if you want to look at my tasting notes, they're on the, my WordPress blog. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to sort of like get really, really overly enthusiastic about it. It's, it's pleasantly made, but um, I'd like to see a little bit more, a uh, bit more rye there, personally. No, oh, well. She looks so dirty, but she smells so clean. Right, okay. Uh, let's go on to the double rye then. Now, um, this, as, as I said earlier, um, has the same basis as a 16 year old um, but they use a 2 year old rye uh, instead of a 6 year old and as you can see I've been doing this um, it says not a lot and I must say I point out that the, uh, the bottles are really quite funky they're sort of made in a kind of like a very old fashioned sort of style so it's 
you know, you've got all the bubbles in the glass and all that kind of stuff, you know, so it, it looks to business, you know. Um, admittedly, you know, one shouldn't be sort of um, governed by uh, uh, these sort of things, but, you know, it looks kind of nice, you know. So, anyway, nose. Let's, uh, let's see what, uh, what this is all about then, shall we? Hmm. Now that's that's better. That's that's got got a real wry punch to it. Lovely sort of spiciness, bit of black pepper, uh, and the corn is kind of in the background. It's pretty much the reversal of uh, of the rendezvous. It's you know, hmm. That, that that is lovely. A little bit of violets, a little bit of um, of caramel. Lovely earthiness to it as well. Hmm. I mean, if that two-year-old is uh, actually their spirit, then mm, well, that's going to be good. And I, I would certainly be really intrigued to see, um, you know, what uh, what their own spirit is like when it gets to about sort of you know five, six years old. So may, maybe they they'll they'll release it about that sort of time. But um, I mean, there is there is a sort of a little bit of a self spirity note, but I mean that's um, obviously understandable given that uh, you know part of the uh, constituents of this are it's actually only two years old. But um, I think if you sort of take it as take it as a whole, this is a really nice rye. This is very very good indeed. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's 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 an, a really nice nose. Really clean. Hmm. Right. Uh, power timer. Ooh. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's got some spicy rye bite. Hmm. Takes breath away. It's a little bit of sort of um, high tone spirit notes as well, but it's certainly that that young rye which is like, whoa, I'm getting in there. Um, there's a nice background to of the of the older rye. There's a, there's like I said, there's there's some corn to sort of flesh it out, give it a bit of fatness, um, some vanilla notes, but oh, that is a lovely rye. Really clean, uh, slightly earthy really spicy, really intense. I mean, this is, this is what you want from your rye, your rye whiskies. You want that sort of spicy intensity. You want, mm, you know, you want a grip. Um, oh, and that, that has it in, in, in bucketfuls, I can tell you. Uh, really nice. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah. Not probably the most complex of uh, palettes on, uh, on the planet, but uh, um, I guess sort of, you know, it, it delivers what it says, um, and um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 really nice, like that. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's sum these up. Um, now, um, if we take, we certainly. Uh, are stocking the uh, the vodka and um, the double rye, they are both available uh, on our website www.courtneys.com. Um, there was an interesting comment made on um, the last episode of the show, uh, basically saying, you know, it's all well and good of you tasting uh, all these samples and all these old bottlings and what have you, but it's a bit it's a bit difficult when when you know. They're not available to purchase, so this is not the case in uh, in this particular one. Um, you know, both of these are available to purchase. I'm not this one, I'm not stocking. It's just it doesn't do it for me. It has to be said. I, I, I like, I love the vodka. I think the vodka is really nice. It's interesting. It's different. Um, it's not your run of the mill kind of uh, Russian Eastern European fancy packaging kind of stuff. You know, it's. It's honest. It's you know small batch. I mean, they even get um, batch numbers, bottles signed by um, David Perkins himself. You know, it's all yeah, all really sort of nicely done. Um, like I say, the, the the rendezvous, eh, yeah, it's it's all right. You know, um, 
it, uh, it does seem to sort of be a little bit OTT in the slightly homogenous um, corn department, but you know, um, can't, can't fault the quality of that, you know, from wherever they get all of that, uh, uh, that spirit from. Um, but I think, uh, I think the star is definitely the, uh, this one, the, the double rye. Um, really nice, really intense. Um, yeah, it's a, a, a real lovely sort of rye hit to it, you know, loads of spice. Um, and, you know, I, I think this is definitely worth buying. I mean, these will make great presents, I mean, because of the, uh, the, the, the bottles, um, like I said. But, um, you know, really good, um, really enjoyable. And, um, and like I said, available to purchase from our website. So, I mean, the thing is, at the, at the end of the day, you know, I've got kind of cupboards back there um, full of, uh, of samples and uh, you know I will be you know tasting them and using them you know in various episodes of the show I like the kind of contrast between sort of independent single cast bottlings and distillery bottlings now uh, unfortunately you know from time to time it will be a case of some of these bottlings are no longer available but you know I like to think, you know, just showcasing the, uh, the the distillery and distillery style. So, um, you know, hopefully that's not going to put you off watching the show. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully it'll give you a, a sort of uh, desire to sort of uh, try these out. But like I was saying, uh, in this instance, uh, the, the two that I really, really rate are available to purchase. Um, and, um, you know, all that's left to say is, uh, you know, I... I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I hope uh, this uh, inspires you to sort of take a look at, uh, at the High West uh, Distillery. Certainly go and have a look at their website. That's, it's a, a really interesting website. Um, and, um, you yeah, know, I guess if you're, you're ever in Utah, um, pop in and um, have, a, have a dram and um, grab a bite to eat, I guess. So, um, anyway, enough of that. So... Uh, it's getting on a bit now, so um, all that's left to say is um, good evening and good rain. Oh, you just <laughs> so much trouble saying it like that to me. <laughs>